Merry Meets everyone, Earthfire here. Um, today I'm going to be doing a requested video and that was to share my Book of Shadows. Um, I have several. Um, I, I have several. I have one that's mainly just for journaling and um, then I have my binders that I I work out every time or every day. So I think I'll go through them and then um, I'll give you a more close-up version of just my binder book of shadows. So my very first book of shadows um, was this one. It's just a little like brown paper journal that I got at Walmart um, and I have all of this stuff in it so I have to hold it together with a rubber band. So I just uh, at the time, um, this was the nicest journal I could find at Walmart, you know, kind of looking for what I was wanting. So I just have kind of decorated. I cut these out and glued them on. Um, I like to add, you know, pictures that I print off uh, that I think pertain to my practice um, and and um, add them to my books my books of shadows and I normally just will spend time with my books just um, coloring in them or writing or whatever it is that I, I decide to do. So I have all of my little sections um, separated by little plastic tabs. I don't know if you can see that. So I have a section for Sabbaths starting with um, Samhain. And that's just, um, this is very hard. So it just talks about what I looked up for, um, for Samhain. And I added some little, like, scrapbooking pieces in it. You know, just for decoration. Um, this was my very first one, so it's, it's incomplete. Um, I stopped using it when I started using my binder. So I have Samhain, I try to write down, um, you know, kind of what it's about, the herbs, the incense, um, the gemstones, the woods and herbs to burn, uh, traditional foods, um, and kind of the activities that you can do, and then the colors. And then the like I said, these are just little cutouts that I had um, from scrapbooking from when I did uh, planner designs. So it just says there is magic in the night when pumpkins glow by candlelight. So I thought that was very appropriate for that one. Um, and then the next one is Yule. Um, in my opinion, in most people's opinion, um, Our, our year starts with Samhain, so it goes from Samhain to Yule and then on from there. So the next one's Yule, and I've done the same exact thing for that. I just added, you know, I added all of the herbs and incense and colors and um, stones, and I added food and what kind of spell work you could do for that, because some of them... Um, when I was doing my research in the very beginning, it, you know, I found some that had different types of spell work you could do and some that don't. So, um, I added just this little, uh, scrapbooking piece of paper with some holly and berries on it. And then the next one's in bulk. Same thing. Ostara, Beltane. And you can see that I kind of stopped at Beltane. I hadn't finished it. I really knew... Oh, no, I'm wrong. So, I didn't uh, really finish Beltane for some reason. I need to do that. Um, and then I went on to Litha, Lammas, and then Maybon. So, I haven't finished. Like I said, I just stopped kind of working in this. So, I really need to get back to doing that. Uh, you know, and just so I can have 
all of the information in one space or one place and not sit there and have to look it up all the time. I'm horrible about remembering the Sabbaths. Um, I can remember Maybon, Samhain, and Yule, but the rest of the year it seems like they just fly by and I never remember them. Even though I do mark them down and try to remember them, it's just something always comes up so we never get to do any type of celebration for those. But, you know, in the in the fall and on into towards Christmas and stuff, you, you tend to be able to celebrate a little bit more. So, um, so I'm, I'm hoping to be able to get back into that. And I was planning on doing, uh, you know, Sabbath videos too, and I think I've done one and then... A, like I said, the rest of them just kind of flew by. So I will try as they come around to um, make those videos for you guys. So, um, and then next thing is uh, the next tab, the next little section that I, I put in is deities, you know, gods and goddesses. And this is just a little daily prayer to the goddess that I found. Um, I do have a list of all the Celtic goddesses because if I'm going to, you, you know, I've said before that I don't really work with deity, but if I'm going to bring in um, the archetype of a god or goddess, it's more than likely going to be from the Celtic pantheon because, or pantheon, because that is my um, heritage. So, I have just a little printout because that was way too many to try and um, be writing down. So the next section after that is candles and crystals. So I just went through, um, and each section has a different little like drawing to it. So I went through the candle colors and what they mean. I started on the crystals but realized that there was just way too many to be writing down. Um, so I kind of gave up on that. Even though I left all of this space for crystals, um, I'll eventually get back to it, I think. Um, and then I get, went into herbs, which I found these really awesome little like coloring sheets on Pinterest that are witchy based. So this one says herbs and it has like a lot of different little plants to it. Um, I did start writing down herbs alphabetically and once again realized there was way too many to be writing down, so I just printed it off. Um, I did make a new section here for teas, which I have not filled out yet. I need to do that. Um, and then the next section is sigils, which I haven't done anything for that either. I need to do. And then um, oils, food, so any type of, type of magical food or um, preparation of food I wanted to add to it haven't done that yet either. Um, what does this say? So, and then we get into spell work, and I also have a little print off of all of the elements and their meanings and um, all their associations. And of, of course this is just a little thing about uh, the pentacle and what the, what it means. And what I've done is this is where I keep all of my um, spells that I've got from somewhere else, the ones that are not mine. Um, so I keep them here and to be honest, none of them have ever worked for me, so I don't I don't really use them, but I do use them as a jumping point at some times. Um, as I've said before, I'm a very direct magic person. My, my spell work is very direct. I don't really do ritual um, per se. So um, all of these type of spell works, I don't really do that type. Um, so they're mainly just for reference from when I was, you know, trying to find what it is that I wanted to do. And that is the end of this book. So not a whole lot in there to begin with, but um, 
like I said, it was my first book of shadows. I didn't know what the heck I was doing. I just started writing down all the information because that's that's the type of person I am. I just absorb all the information and uh, take note of all of it. And um, that way I have it if I need it. So the next one um, I will kind of talk about, but I won't really share because it's my journal. So this is just a uh, plain old journal from Walmart. Um, of course, you know, I chose the one I was attracted to. Pink is my favorite color, so in case you can't tell, my walls are pink. Um, so just a plain old journal that has lined paper. So how I use this is um, I mainly just use this as a dumping zone. Um, as always you can hear the airplanes. Um, I live by a small airport uh, that's just over the hill so you can hear the airplanes flying around so I apologize for that. Um, so I mainly just use this as a dumping zone for all of my feelings, for um, whatever may be going on in my life. Um, I I tend to be a bottler. Um, I'll bottle things up until I just can't deal with them anymore. So I'm trying to get out of that and uh, when things bother me I try to pull out my journal and just kind of dump all my feelings in it. Um, Which, you know, I think is kind of what pretty much everybody does with a journal. Um, I, I am not, it's not a diary. It's a journal specifically for releasing uh, any, you know, feelings that I have. And most of the time they are negative feelings, but um, it's better to release them in some way than to not. So, um... So I just kind of basically write them as like a journal entry, um, explaining what's going on, why I'm upset about it, and you know what I would like to do about it. So um, I thankfully do not have a whole lot of negative things going on in my life, so this is not very full. Um, Probably the biggest thing that I've written about in here is when my dog died. Um, so, you know, I, I had a lot of upset feelings about that because he was basically um, the first pet that was only mine. Um, and I grew up in an apartment as a child, so I never had pets. Um, so. I didn't really get my first pet that was only mine that I had a connection to until um, I was an adult, which was only, I think it was about, we got him about five years ago, five or six years ago, and he died uh, a year and a half ago, I think. You, I'm already getting choked up about it, so I'm going to move on. Um, so yeah. So I suggest that anybody um, trying to do any type of spiritual work has a journal, if nothing else, just for dumping their feelings in. So um, basic journal, cost me a couple bucks at Walmart, no big deal. Um, this was a gift from my husband, which is my other main book of shadows. Um, it was just a black... Uh, art book that my husband got me. I think he bought it at Walmart. Um, it has white paper in it and I painted it. Um, Galaxy. So this is the inside. Um, I have this picture right here in pretty much every book of shadows that I have. Um, just simply because she reminds me of what a witch truly is. She's beautiful and elegant and 
um, strong and powerful, and she's not that Hollywood prediction of us as some green hag with a giant nose and warts and all of this. So I, it reminds me that being a witch can be beautiful. Um, and then I just, you know, wrote Book of Shadows in it, put my pinnacle there. I have all of my sections um, divided up into, or I have my sections, my, my book divided up into sections. Um, I'm going to cover this because that is my little protection incantation. So I have spells. I have journal. So that's mainly for, uh, for, so the journal section is mainly for shadow work. Um, or, you know, just whatever I want to um, put in that section. And then the last section is to record my dreams in. Um, I am a person that before I got into witchcraft, didn't dream at all, unless I was having a nightmare. Um, and those were very few and far between. So, um, now that I've started practicing, um, I am having more and more vivid dreams and I try to record them in this book of shadows when I have them. So, um, I have, I, I have been kind of lacking lately on doing that and I really need to be, you know, um, recording those things because I be, I believe I've been getting messages from my spirit guides in my dreams and I need to be recording those. So, um, that's this book. Um, it's not really a working type of book and that's why I have my working binder. So this is mainly just for the stuff that I really want to record and, um, you know, all of those things when I want to do shadow work and to record my dreams. So, <clears throat> so there's that one. And then, uh, this binder is, it is part of my book of shadows, but, um, all it does is ha it has information in it. That's all. So all uh, this ha contains all the information I can find on every pantheon that's out there. So, I'm sure there's more that I haven't got to yet, but, uh, like I said, I'm an information collector, so I need, you know, I like to go through and collect and all the information that, on every subject that I can find. Um, even though I don't work with deity, I would like to someday, so I want all the information on, um, each deity that I can find. So... I went through a very short phase where I was attracted to the Horned God. Um, so I have information on him. Um, the Triple Goddess has always been a symbol in my personal practice because it's something that I can relate to and um, it, it's the cycle of a woman's life too. So also pertains to um, the phases of the moon, so it's something that I have been interested in. So those two um, particularly have their own section. And then um, moving on to what my main pantheon would be if I was to choose one, which is the Celtic pantheon. So it has, I have a list of all of the gods and goddesses for that. Um, next would be Norse. Uh, because my husband is, his pantheon of choice is Norse. Um, his god, her, his goddess is Freya. And, you know, that's his, I won't get into that because that's, you know, his thing. But, um, I have all the information for that if he ever needs it. And, um, the next one is Ancient Egypt. So I have all the gods for that. Which, 
is probably the shortest section out of all of these. Um, but very interesting. I've always been interested in Egypt. So um, the next one is Greek, Greek gods and goddesses. And then Roman gods and goddesses. And I'm sure there's pantheons out there that I don't or haven't researched yet and haven't been added to uh, this binder. But I had to separate this binder from my big binder because there's just too much information um, to be added. So I wanted to make it its own thing. It is still a part of my Book of Shadows. It's just a separate portion. No different than so these So I've showed uh, this Book of Shadows before on on my channel. Um, this is my working book of shadows. Um, that's pretty much where I keep everything. So, now my neighbors are screaming. It's going to be one of those days, I think. Um, so, this is where I keep all of my information that I collect and all of my spell work and everything that I do um, is here. Um, so I'm going to move you to a different angle and go through this um, book of shadows up close. So because it's just way too heavy to be holding like that. So I'm going to go ahead and reposition the camera and then we'll go okay, through Okay, so hopefully that you can see that. So this is my cover. Just another one of those coloring pages that I found on uh, Pinterest. I'm still working on it. Um, I haven't had a whole lot of time to be doing any of the decorating in my Book of Shadows. So you'll find a lot of empty coloring pages in it. So this one right here is just another smaller copy of that one. And my daughter colored this for me. So, um... So the first thing that I get into in my Book of Shadows is all of the spell work that I record for the Witch's Broom. Um, I like to keep it contained into one space and then once I've filmed it, then I move it to the section it, it pertains to. Um, I also have this little drawing over here that says Book of Spells. So this one is a spot for my ancestry. Um, um, up until February of this year, I did not know anything about my ancestry. Um, the equivalent of what I knew about my family was about the equivalent of what a adopted child would know. Um, so my family was very backwoods and didn't care about their history at all, so none of it was ever recorded. And I don't know any of my family members past my mom's mom. So very limited information on that. So my husband, because I've always said that, uh, you know, because my husband can track his history back to Scotland. Um, back in the 1200s, his family can trace their lineage back that far. So, and I've always been very jealous of that fact. And he knows that, and it's, I'm a huge history buff. And um, not knowing my own history where I came from um, has always been very upsetting to me. So... For my birthday, he got me one of the ancestry kits, and um, he got it early so I could get the results on my, the day of my birthday. So um, that's what's in this section, and I also keep anything pertaining to that history um, in this section. So a lot of um, British and Irish um, history and you know, just things that pertain to that are, are in this section, along with my actual ancestry results. So that's why I'm not going to show you anything in this section, because it does have my information in it. So, and then I just have another one, another section here just for paper, easy convenience. And I do print off these cute little 
like decorative pages that I find. Um, and the next one is magical colors. So I just have a list of magical colors because as I've always said, I have horrible memory, so I have to look up everything. I hope that you're able to see that. So maybe that's better. Um, so just to, the color correspondence is, um, when I find things that I'm interested in that aren't on this list, I try and add them, um, um, add them to the list when I find them. So the next section is just my personal journal. This is where I keep or where I do my, um, my gratitude journaling and my, um, daily affirmations. So I try to do that every day. I'm not the greatest at it, but um, that is one of my goals is to try and keep up on that. So, um, and I, I list at least three things that I'm grateful for. Even if I list, you know, the same thing multiple times, because I am, there's certain things that I am so grateful for that I have in my life. And, um, sometimes I just feel the need that I need to say that I'm grateful for those things. So, um, if you don't have a gratitude journal, uh, make a section in your book of shadows and just use notebook paper. Um, even if you're just adding notebook paper, paper into, um, your book of shadows by doing your gratitude journaling or have a separate journal. Um, I, I feel that things come more easily to you when you're grateful for what you already have. So, and I do my daily affirmations because, um, I have a lot of shadow problems, um, shadow work problems that I need to work through. And I have a lot of self-esteem issues from my childhood that, um, I think I'll probably always be working through. So doing those daily affirmations, reminding myself that I am, you know, worthy of the things that I have, um, greatly help, especially when you're having those bad days. Um, on those bad days, it's, especially hard to be able to do those, but I feel that you get the most um, progress out of them when you are able to sit there and say those, <clears throat> those things, you know, about yourself that you may not truly believe, but you want to believe. So, um, the next section is spells and workings. Um, so, you know, you guys have seen how I do um, my spell working. So I have one here for fertility. Um, and how I, I have a video on, um, how I write out my spells because most of my spells are, um, herb and candle related. So I just write out all the aspects that I want to have for that spell work and, um, all of the supplies that I want that I could use for those. So this one's for fertility. I have my money rice one here. And then these are just some printed ones that I have worked up, but, um, back in my practice has changed so much in the last six months that, um, I really need to work, rework some of these. So this one right here is just a seven day Fehu um, spell working. So then it moves on to oils and herb, herbal blends. <clears throat> and I, I have these in the same section because a lot of my oils have herbs in it. So, um, you know, they're kind of connected to me or for me. So I have my protection incense here. Um, I have my job incense and oils. So all of my incense can be either just used as incense or used to make oils is how I do them. So I have my money incense, my job incense, um, 
my cleansing shower blends, and my hot foot powder. Uh, this is a real quick one that I I worked up for Energy Vampires. I have my Mojo bag ones pertaining to color. Um, my Dragonfire oil, my Love oil, and I really should write out those other ones, my other oils. So um, the next one is Candle Magic and Workings. Um, I am working on getting this section filled in. I just normally do my candle magic and then I don't record it. So I need to start working on recording those. So I have uh, my a specific page for my money candles, which um, I'm, I'm reworking how I'm doing those. I was doing the seven day candles and burning them, you know, over time, but I think I'm going to switch to once a week doing chime candles instead. Um, and I think I'm going to be doing a video on that. So yeah, so, I need to start recording my candle magic. And that's why I put this section in, is to try and remember to do that. So the next section is just a couple uh, patterns for poppets. Um, they're mainly just like ragdoll patterns that I found on Google. Um, so I have several different sizes here. I've been trying to... Um, play with different sizes for the kits that I'm putting together. So I keep those there. Uh, the next section is my runes and my rune meanings. So I have, um, I have my little rune alphabet and the meanings to I was them, doing daily draws, um, for my runes, but I have kind of slacked on that. And sheesh, the last time I did it was May, so I need to I need to get back to that. But I have special paper that have little it has a little um, picture of runes there. The next one is tarot and tarot spreads. So um, I have these little worksheets that I found. Um, I think it was on Pinterest. I also um, keep a list of all of my decks here on this, the back of uh, the page here, which I need to update because I've gotten several new decks since then. So I just try and record what it is that, um, I've drawn for that day. I've switched over to just doing it on paper just simply because I ran out of the printouts. And this is just examples of drawings, or um, spreads, I mean, that I printed off. And these are actually printable ones that I found about a year ago before I even got my first tarot deck. So I thought that I would just kind of go through them at first, and then um, my husband bought me my first tarot deck shortly after I printed all this off. So I just put it in here in case I needed to use them for maybe spell work. Um, if I wanted to bring in a tarot aspect of, you know, my spell work. So in the next section is Sabbaths. So I have the Wheel of the Year here. Um, I found these really beautiful uh, pages on Pinterest that go over each Sabbath. So I tried to find each one. I think I got all of them, but it kind of goes through um, what the Sabbath's about, what you can do, you know, the herbs, the food, the incense, the colors. So I have, I think I have one for each one. But I just thought they were really pretty. I don't know who um, created these. I guess I only was able to... No, so... So yeah, I'm not sure who created those. And then each... In each section, I have behind... Um, these pages, if I have any more information, will be in between um, this page and the next uh, decorative page. So I have information on Ostara, Ostara which is the information I, I found for my video. Um, which was a lot um, that I printed off. So this is all information about Ostara, um, and then Beltane, 
Litha Lamis Mabon. And then it goes off into the first pages that I ever found on the Sabbath. So I just put them in here. Um, the next one is Magical Symbols. The pinnacle is a magical symbol to me. So um, also is the Tree of Life. So any type of print-offs or any type of information that I find on um, magical symbols will be in this section. I only just started this section and I just found... Uh, this page not too long ago so the tree of life is a huge symbol in my practice so animal spirit guides um, I've started with uh, animals that I am drawn to the owl is the main one um, and then the bat and these are just information I found on the internet cats um, Pandas, frogs, uh, ravens, and then crow, because I feel that the raven and crow are connected, so, and then dragons. I believe dragons is the last one. And that, that's a work in progress. It's going to take me forever to get through every animal. Um... Here are incense and incense uses. So it's just little print offs that I found for incense, um, what they can be used for. Here's uh, the section for herbs, which I don't have anything in yet. Stones and crystals, birthstones, and you know, whatever type of rock related uh, things that I find. Here's one on hagstones. Uh, my husband has been really wanting to try and find a hagstone, and we've been having problems finding any real ones so um, I printed this off it kind of gives the information on it and then it goes into all of the stones and their meanings and all of that um, which is a huge section A to Z from all of the stones that I can find so stones and their properties uh, these are birthstones, their meanings, um, or it's birthstone, so it goes by birth month. It has the, the ancient birthstone, the traditional birthstones, and the modern birthstones. So, um, that's what all of that is. And then this one is birthstone by Zodiac, so... And it, it talks a little bit about what the birthstone means, you know, the kind of personality that goes with the zodiac of the birthstone. So this one, the next section is elements. So just about elements. It's the same print off from uh, the the gold colored book that I showed you earlier. And this is just a little separation. It goes into these little uh, little spells that I found on Pinterest. I don't use them, but I I did like how they looked, so I added it. Elemental Magic. Uh, the Moon Phases. So all the information that I have about the Moon Phases are here. And then it goes into Printed Spells and Workings. Um, you know, Days of the Weeks and Spells and Rituals to use. I, I don't really go by these things, but... You know, like I said, I'm an information collector. I like to have information on, on all kinds of different things. So these are sprinkling powders. Full moon, full moon oil. Anointing oils. There's several of those. They go by alphabetical. Um, magical inks. This is a healing spell. Um, the, these are other ones like those. I find them on Pinterest when, if I like them, then I put them on, on I print them off and put them in this section. So one for spirit, one for mother, uh, daily conjure tips, the phoenix, and these go, apparently I printed off multiples of those. 
um, under the god the protection of the goddess. Dream of one who has passed through the veil. Um, so, for loved ones who's passed. Uh, cinnamon, money oil, shield spell, um, magical chants, and herb grinding blessings, healing, and it just goes on. So the last section is chakras. So it's just the information I've collected on the chakras. I don't really work with the chakras, but if I wanted to, I wanted to have the information for it. And then this is just extra uh, little sleeves in case I want to add new sections and extra paper. So that is my book of shadows. Um, it's your book of shadows is very personal and um, pertains to what your type of magical workings are. So mine is a very hands-on type of workings um, that I do. So that's mainly what's recorded in my book of shadows. I, like I said, I do have print offs, but they're mainly just for reference. I don't really use um, other people's magical workings because they don't work for me. So, um, that's, you know, kind of how I do mine. So I hope that you guys like this. Um, definitely if you have any more requests, um, let me know in the comments below and I will definitely try and get to them as soon as possible. I am working through my personal list that I have of videos that I want to get done. So, when you guys request things, I will, you know, move that to the top of the list. And that's what I've done here because I had other uh, videos planned to do today. But um, I wanted to go ahead and get this done because it was requested. And yeah, so I hope that you um, liked it and that it was helpful to you and gives you some ideas of how to think out of the box. You don't have to have this perfect, pristine leather bound book of shadows that you have to do this extravagant artwork in. You can have a simple binder with print offs. Um, I am not an artist in any way. Um, so being able to do those fancy drawings and all of that is just out of my realm. I can't, um, I don't have the artistic talent to be able to do that. So this is how I do it. And, um, yeah, so so I will see you next time. Blessed be.